Everyone loves a mechanics truck tour, so we're here at the Lotto Sudal team area to see what we can see. But before we even get to the bus, I think Andre Greipel's bike is a new frame or a prototype. It's very different from the Helium SL that you can see other riders using, and also the Noah SL aero frame that's right back there. Could be a hybrid between the two, or maybe it's just something that's beefed up to take Greipel's absolutely enormous sprinting power. Let's head on up. I love these things. How many wheels have they got? 50 wheels on that side. It's quite a lot. So the mechanics are outside working on a bunch of the bikes right now, but left behind are 18 bikes, which include spares and also variations. So each rider has got a lightweight climbing frame, the Helium SL, and also a slightly more aero frame, the Noah SL. They've got a huge number of wheels in this truck, but not actually a huge variety. They've got the Campagnolo Bora Ultra 35s and the Bora Ultra 50s, so a kind of medium depth, fairly good climbing wheel and a slightly more aero wheel for the flatter days. All of the wheels are shod with Continental Competition 25mm or the Continental Competition Pro Limited 25mm. There is one exception to that, which is this one, which has a skin wall. So looking at that, I'm guessing that is probably a hangover from the classics, maybe the cobble classics. One of the big jobs on a Grand Tour like the Giro is re-gluing and replacing tubular tires. Are these tubs up there pre-glued? Yep, we glued them uh, once and then uh, we, put, we let them dry for an hour. We put them on a rim. And then afterwards, if we need them, we glue them again, we glue the rim and put them on uh, the wheel. So. And so does the, the duct tape stops the top? No, this is an old uh, rim, so when it was already glued on, and if not, uh, it stick on, so we, it's better to take them off. Now that teams use electronic gearing for all their riders, the mechanics don't have to change gear cables that often. Instead, they have to charge them. So, a row of charging points, they press this button here, if that light's green, doesn't need charging. This one's flickering a bit, coming up for a charge. Any that are flickering and looking marginal, they'll stick in, charge overnight, good to go the next day. Sometimes you don't want an Allen key, you want a real tool. This bit of paper here is how the mechanics decide which tyres and which cassettes to put on which wheels. So, Bora 50 or Bora 35, and then you've got slick or profile tyres, and a choice between 11.25 or 11.27. Every truck needs a solid work surface, a vise, and a trune jig. This one's used for straightening wheels and for gluing tubs. Loads of little spares. Amazing. Spare 11 tooth cogs. I never wore an 11 tooth out, but I was weak. Brake pads, rubber things, bolts, compressions. Internal cable routing looks absolutely great. Far tidier, but a bit of a nightmare to actually thread the cables. The Lotto Sudal mechanics have got what I think is pretty much the best solution we've ever seen for this. These are basically old cables. They've threaded them the wrong way through an end cap and put a ferrule on the end. Uh, they then attach those cables to the electronic cables whenever they're removing a part. And basically, like a fishing line, you just pull it out. And they've also, because they've pulled the cables through, these cables are re-threaded. So they then attach the old cables here, pull these cables back through, done. Don't need to remove the bottom bracket, don't need to spend ages fishing around in the frame to try and pull the cables through. Best internal cable routing solution yet, I think, and 100% homemade. This is one of two mechanics trucks that the Lotto Sudal team have, so that's perhaps why it looks a little bit minimalistic, but the fact is these guys are incredibly experienced and know exactly the number of spares, etc., that they're likely to need on a race like the Giro. If you'd like to see more videos from this year's Giro d'Italia, click right there. To see more videos we've done with the Lotto Sudal and previously Lotto Bellasol team, click down there. And finally, to subscribe to GCN, click on me. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up.